But in 1968, John Chambers revolutionized the entire industry when he used foam latex on the original Planet of the Apes movie. <laughs> you have an alarm on your curtain. I knew you'd look. I told you I'd show you this later. Oh, man. What were you doing over there? <laughs> I was talking. You were peeking. You what? No, 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 no. Oh. You're a peeker. There you go. Assuming I was not peeking, I was fixing it. What was wrong with it? Hmm? Well, that... Um, uh, what? That kid... <laughs> threw a rock at the curtain. <laughs> so I fixed it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, you don't... What up, dog? <laughs> Did you throw a rock at the curtain? No. Kid said he didn't do it. Kids lie. <laughs> What's your name? Nick? That's a cool name. What are you, 14? I know. I'm your real father. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. No, I'm not, I'm not your father. I'm your mother. <laughs> no, that's not, no, that's not, no, that's not no, okay? Party girl. No, listen, I'm gonna let it go this time, okay? Let it go, okay? But I, I'll be watching you. I'll be looking over here, but I'll be watching you. This isn't Disney. We don't have to be nice to okay. you. Okay. Uh, cool. Be nice. It's okay. Let's get back on track to what you were I talking forgot, about. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, I was talking about the apes with the playtex on their face. Or Planet of the Apes with playtex. Playtex? You mean latex. That's different than playtex. Yeah. It covers different things. That's a different show. You know, in the old days, you remember the old days, we used to put a big mask on an actor's head. Now we apply the mask one piece at a time. Foam latex appliance work. A lot of ways to bring a monster to life. How many people saw Van Helsing? Okay, makeup artist Greg Cannon used every trick of the book on that movie. Let me show you. You start out with an idea, you figure out the best way to bring the monster to life. In Van Helsing, Greg used very traditional makeup for the Frankenstein and the Joan Rivers characters. <laughs> that means that actor Shuler Hensley spent about five hours in a makeup chair every morning while layers of foam latex and silicone were glued to his face. He gave him special contacts to wear. He had copper dentures. He put on a full-length foam rubber bodysuit. He wore arm and leg extensions to increase his size. And the finished product spe speaks for itself. Incredible stuff. That's now, to do this every day, I'm sure, has its challenges, but fun nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, Tell me this. How did you get into the makeup business? <coughs> there's, there's different paths for different people. My, you know, my parents were in the business, so we saw who, pretty quick who's having fun on a movie. Somebody's backing up. Where, where's that happening? <laughs> okay, because I had an accident. Okay. Okay. okay, I don't want that to happen again. All right. And then I had some great training with Greg Cannon, who just won his Oscar for his work on Benjamin Button. Yes. Long, long deserved. Yeah. And he had trained with Rick Baker. Who is a big name in your... I wanted to ask you about Rick Baker, your involvement with that. He's won a bunch of Academy Awards, right? Six Oscars. Wow. Even if you've never seen him, you've seen his work. Harry and the Hendersons, Ed Wood. Uh, Grinch. Nutty Professor, great movie, MIB. And he just uh, opened up his new movie, Wolfman. So there's probably a couple of awards coming his way for that. <laughs> Let's show you a little bit of the movie that won Rick Baker his first Oscar. Okay, kids, what movie is this? E.T. Well, that's right, E.T. <laughs> E.T.'s pissed. <laughs> A couple of people got it. American World in London, 1981. Look at that. Rick's makeup on this movie was so incredible. The Academy created a new category. Rick Baker won the first Oscar for special effects makeup. That still looks good to this day. Yes, it will be great forever. People are backing up. Now tell me this though. In the beginning, you see the actor in the latex appliance. His head changes shape. How do you do that with the makeup? Boys, now makeup, come here. Rick pioneered mechanics and makeup. You wanted to see that transformation scene that we all just looked at happen from beginning to end uh -huh. without a lot of cuts and editing. Oh, so he wow. created a fiberglass understructure. It was based on the actor's head and shoulders. He covered that with a series of foam latex masks. 
These are from the movie. You can play with this, but be careful because that bites. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is under here. You see that? It's predictable. Now, what makes it move around like that? Pneumatics. Oh, that's air pressure. Right, air pressure. Right. These pistons are forcing air into pockets in these structures, so all the pieces will glide out, up, any direction. Beautiful. In addition to that, Rick put bladders inside of the latex skins. So, he would pump those up. It would inflate, it would deflate. It gave it this rolling, rippling effect. This movie came out. Nobody had ever seen anything like this. See? So you got your structure, you cover it with your mask, you paint, and you put your hair on it. This is real hair on these heads. Real hair? Where do you get real hair? I cut this off my mother-in-law's lower back. <laughs> Are you people even listening to me over here? <laughs> Tell me this, though. In the uh, Van Helsing movie, there is a wolf man. Is that done with the same technology? No, 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 no. This has been around a long time, and we still use this, but they used a lot of CGI in Van Helsing. Uh, that's computer stuff. Computer-generated imagery. Can we show more film? Yeah, 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 please. Okay, remember the Frankenstein monster? Very traditional makeup. And it worked real well. But if we want to go to another level, we go to the computer to create the monster nowadays. In Van Helsing, both the werewolf and Mr. Hyde, 100% computer generated. Whereas Dracula and his brides, Mary Kate and Ashley, were a combination of techniques. They started by filming the actors in front of blue screen. Now the live action stays, whatever was blue. That's where you can substitute in all of your computer work. And the combination with the live action, that's your final effect. So in that sense, it's a mix of the old and the new, and that's how you stay ahead of the game. Boy, whatever it takes. Thank you so much. Mark James, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Very nice. Yeah. 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 You can't say no. You've buttered them up. You've reversed back. I need you to show us what's behind the curtain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Alex, you're going to help me? Uh, anything you need. Okay, I need you to put on this high-voltage vest. <laughs> It's a what? It's a low voltage vest. And it's a what? It's a no, it's Prada. Come here, what? get this around a little. <laughs> no, there are puddles on the oh, stage. Oh, you've been working on this. No, that's great. No, that's oh, extra. No, I gotta find somebody. Go get somebody else. Kathy. <gasps> Kathy. <laughs> you know where you love her, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Kathy. 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 Kathy, for helping us out, we're going to give you and your family a free it's three so day quiet. cruise. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. She is a fuck. Talking again. Come here. We don't hate Kathy. We don't hate. No. 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 That's good. Alex, would you put the right glove on the right hand, please? Yes, don't worry sir. about the left one. Folks, this is mocap. It's motion capture. It's a sensor vest. This is the same technology they use to keep Ozzy Osbourne alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Kathy. Did you, did you see the movie The Green Mile? No. You didn't? Oh, you would have liked it. It's a funny movie. It's about a mouse. <laughs> yes, it is. If you ever feel down, you rent the Green Mile. It'll perk you right up. <laughs> oh, look at you. You look like a honey with the spray you got on that hair. It's not going anywhere. Okay, let's go here. Hey, I'm a makeup artist, folks. I can tell. Jeez. Want to watch this kid? Anyway, come here. All right, now we'll stand there. All right? You look like a Power Ranger. <laughs> She's a, she's a catch, okay? Listen, this is, this is what we use to control something from off camera while we're filming. So, you're going to be the puppeteer. Do you like puppets? No, you don't like puppets either, okay? <laughs> let's, meet, let's meet my monster, everybody. Here he is. Meet Eddie! We do on steroids. <laughs> okay, so the outfit's got some sensors on it. So all your movements will be transferred uh, uh, electronically to Eddie. When you move, he's going to move. Okay? I'll tell you in a second. Okay? <laughs> now, so the first level of programming is basic, but it'll look cool if you move slow when I tell you. Okay? <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to turn this on. You're going to for about five or six seconds. Okay? You, won't, you won't remember that part. No, you're fine. Just don't move. Stand next, okay? We're going to power him up. He does a reset first. It's not us yet. You're doing great. Am I okay? It's fine. Did you feel anything? No? Oh, Republican. Okay. <laughs> Just keep, keep your right arm straight very slowly. We'll bring it right up in front of you. Okay. 
Ayo. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You probably can deny. Do you like big butts, Kathy? No? Why does that answer not surprise me? Hi, kids. I'm Eddie. I live under your bed. <laughs> I'm, no, kids, it can never fit under your bed. It can fit in your closet. Oh. Stop putting put your hand over your tummy. You did a great job for us. So take a little bow. Good. And uh, put your arm all the way down, please. And power down, Eddie. That's it. Yay! about germs that's just amazing. Okay, come here. You're gonna be great. So you stand over there, we'll give you something to put on your fridge back home, a picture. I hate pictures. I hate pictures. I'm not taking a picture of me. It might end up in a horror movie or something, and then I don't know what I do. You're a doll. I really do want to take you home. She's not anything. What are you doing? What? Are you gonna be in the picture? I was adding value to the memory. It, was good. it looks like a prom picture. Except <laughs> she's not my sister. <laughs> oh, you got that joke, didn't you? One, two, three. <laughs> Here's your freaking picture. Give it up one more time for Kathy.